Good morning everybody, it is me to bore you again. It is 11.23 on a Monday. Not a very nice, pretty day, but we're alive and that's the main thing. Sometimes we're not going to be, but yes, we are alive. Um, it's very overcast, but anyway, I'm naughty. I know I am, because I said yesterday in my live, oh, I'm going to try hard. I, I'm so weak when it comes to op shots because I just don't know what's going to be there. And I've already picked up something I probably didn't need. A set of sh chimes, like shell chimes, you know. And as I'm driving, the dingle, 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 I'm here. Why do I buy that? I know why I bought it because I had a two dollar item, and I was trying to find something else because I don't like just giving my card over for two dollars. Not everyone carries cash, and um, yeah, I bought it for that reason. Just so I thought, well, I can always redonate it for five bucks, so it's not going to be a biggie. This is not going to play the game. So then I decided, well, I've got this huge bag. Like, oh, look at my big bag. Not that one, but all that. That's why I've got to take to the post office. <clears throat> I was going to do it earlier, and I thought, no, it's going to be so busy there early. I'm sorry, I shouldn't touch that stay i did all my work this morning when i was still asleep and i'm up early as always because the old man was snoring so loudly but anyway i had to fix something that i accidentally bought on my credit card it was supposed to go to another anyway it was just one of those mornings where i had to get up early and get everything done so i got it done and i rewarded myself well got fuel because i was empty i went to bunnings to take something back and then i went to the two op shops and i just I just come out of salvos and i thought well there was a line up here because just over there just over there, they have the little door where you donate stuff. And I can tell you today, there are two op shops. I'm only going to the two op shops today. But the two op shops I've been to, there was people coming in with loads and loads and loads of stuff. That's how I got my dingle dangle wind chimey thing. Um, they're just coming with loads of stuff. So obviously it was a big clear out over the weekend. Um, you know, I would love to be there to see what else they pull out. But I thought, you know, because I'm here, I'm going to show you what I got. Now, I did try and do videos. I don't know if, if it works. It'll be at the end of this video. If it didn't, it won't be. Um, I'm definitely going to look into getting a GoPro. I have got two older ones at home, but apparently after a period of time, they don't do well. One's a GoPro. One's a cheaper version of a GoPro uh, that my son bought my his niece. And she didn't really use it very much. She only used it a couple of times. But I thought if I'm going to do it properly, I've really got to get a good one. And I want to, I'd love to get one that's like a little tiny little one like this. You wear on here like a little pin, like a little brooch or a necklace one. I don't want to have some big chunky, clunky thing in the big, you know, thingy thing on my body. Um, but I did try and get a video. And I don't think I succeeded very well. Um, trying to hold things in, I wanted to look up stuff, and I, I didn't. I didn't look up stuff. I just kept on sticking stuff in my trolley, just weighing up stuff that I didn't need. But I'll show you what I did get. Now, as you know, I love. Well, first thing I did get was three of these. Now, I, I didn't. I actually put them in my basket, and I wasn't even going to. Um, 1996 and 2003, so they're older. They're an older one, the 2003, nearly vintage. Which is not 20 years old, that's right, something so. But anyway, I got three of those for a dollar each, and it wasn't until I was going to pay that I actually ch checked them out. And they, they sell for around four, four of them for about 25 26 dollars, so they do sell, so they're good sellables, and also they're good for the kids anyway. So if they don't sell, that'll be for that. And then I got um, what's in there? Oh, yeah, I've got two bags now. As I went up the back of the shop. This is a really good shop, guys. A really good shop. I would love to think I've taken you on a little trip around it before, but it's just it's big and it's not only priced. Like all the dresses are, are four dollars, jeans are five dollars, and there's some good jeans that I just picked up. Now I know I've said I'm not going to buy clothes anymore, but this it's just bread and butter. Like it's just you know you're going to be able to sell them. So I did get them, especially when they've got um, new tags on it. But um, on the door each week they have a different tag and it, like this week it's half price on yellow clothing yellow tag clothing because all the other stuff has only got normal tags but the clothing's always got different colored tags on it and this week's yellow clothing i didn't get anything yellow otherwise I could, that would have been good but i did get other things and um, i'm very happy with what i got but going back to my what i originally was starting to say miss squirrel brain one of the things that we know that we have to use a lot of is the sheets right these sheets are not going to be these sheets. I'll show you what I got. I got this brand new sheet, six dollars. It is a Royal Boutique combo set, two thousand thread count. Um, what size? Got to look at that. What was it? Double size. So you know you can put them on single beds anyway. But yeah, six bucks for that. Now you know I haven't even looked it up, but I can imagine this is quite an expensive one, being that brand. And then I've got another one. A whole heap of stuff came in. These are two lots of sheets. This is only a two, uh, 250 thread count. It was a seven dollars. It's only a Target brand, but on the back of it, a ninety dollar set of sheets. 
or six bucks or seven bucks. Um, it's got the fit head flat and the two pillowcases. Now these are also double and they're not going to be used anywhere near the bus because my when we get a house, this bus stuff is getting chucked out. The dogs sleep with my granddaughter. The bunk bed's at the front of the bus and that's as far as the dogs are allowed to go. And of course the dogs sleep on the beds too. So yeah, all the bedding at that front section is disappearing. The mattresses no, but all the bedding is going as soon as I get a house. So those sheets will be saved up for them. Okay, now we're onto clothing. I'd got a lot and it wasn't until I was going back through when I was waiting for my turn in line. Um, I'll show you this too. I thought oh, I'll show that. I'll show them in a second. Um, I ended up picking up these vintage. Um, I think they're vintage bird um, prints. They're all a little bit, a little bit of marks on it, but they're really lovely. And I thought some of those are birds might be interested in those. And they're from the American Heritage Historical Society. So I don't know whether they came out of a magazine or what they came out of, but I thought they were too nice to leave for two dollars from three of them, so I grabbed those. And I've got these. I always go into the little toy section, as you know, because I've really scored well with little toys. And I also have a craft thing I want to do soon. But these are those. I don't know what they're called. The little midget thingies. What are they called? Look at them. Three dollars for the whole bag. Now these would be great in my little um, project that I want to do, or they could be turned into little earrings or pendants, or I think people collect these. They are they are called moose moose toys. So whatever they're called, and I know I've seen them before many times, but you might know what they're called. But yeah, I grabbed those for three bucks. It's the only bag of decent stuff in there. There was one bag that had a tiny teeny Smurf in it, but I don't want to buy the bag for one Smurf. Let's get to the clothes. You just fold them up all so beautifully too. I feel really bad. <laughs> okay, some things I got I wasn't sure of getting, but I got them anyway. But um. I'll show you this one last and I'll show you those two last they were really good surprising guys actually some of the clothes I'm going to send up up north to Missy up there because she's the tiniest of all the family um, but these are brands a brand new Minx Moss now Minx Moss brand this brand here doesn't go for a great deal of money online it doesn't and the only reason I bought it is because it was only four dollars and um, so they cut the tags off, so I presume they're all not yellow tagged. Um, but it's a very, very pretty dress, and that will fit Miss Miss um, 19, nearly 20, really well. And I got myself a I nearly didn't get this, but I'm, I'm a sucker for velvet, along with leather and lace and, you know, what else? Timber and <laughs> all that sort of stuff. But I'm also a sucker for velvet, and it's only a, like a, a, a Woolies brand. It's only the uh, denim, 20, you know, 964 denim company. But when I was about 15, no I wasn't, yeah I was in high school, they had these markets and some of you who know the area that I'm in would know Lismore markets and they had what was called the flea markets and at the flea markets they had like stalls of everything, it was awesome back in the day and it's turned into an antique market, it was but the floods took everything away. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen how high the floods went, if I find a photo I'll let you know, oh my god it was just like it's unbelievable until you see the little posts of of how high it went but anyway when I was there back in the day there was this beautiful brown velvet like this sort of velvet jacket and I just loved it and it had a zip up the front and I think it had the pockets and everything and that just gave me the memory um, of that it was a brown color but this is black but I got it because it just gave me that memory but also I will wear it um, yeah I will wear it keep away from the kids because I'll get dog hair all over it but yeah I'll wear that so that was four dollars as well Mostly these, I think most of these are clothing. And like some of them are new. I've got another mink, mo mink moss. This one I'll get sent up to her as well. Um, it's just a little pretty boho style short dress. So she's got two beautiful dresses I've got to send up to her with the jeans that she left behind. And they'll probably have to find something this to 18, nearly 18 now to send up as well so he doesn't feel left out. Now, yeah, what else did I get? Ah, so beautifully packed. Okay, I got this brand new. Salty Bright. Now this is a good brand to look out for. Salty Bright dress. This is a brand new one. Um, for four bucks. I can't see what the tag was. $75 originally. I think they're elastic. I don't know. I'm going to try it on myself. I read my colour. I don't think I'll wear it though because it's not really my style anymore. I'm getting too old for this. Uh, bright stuff like that for me. But never know. I might like it. Who knows? You know? But um, yeah, it's a very pretty dress. Very thick um, fabric. But yeah, very pretty. It's only like a short knee length sort of style. 
length dress, but it was nice. So I got that as well for four dollars. Yeah, it cost me cost me a bit is it today, but the two items I've got on my knee will pay for everything anyway. This is I don't know, this must be like homemade brand. It's called Dear Hazel. There was a few of her dresses up last week, but I wasn't I had my grandson with me, so I didn't bother looking. But I got this one only because it's just a little bit different. And I know a lot of people like that different sort of stuff. It's very autumn coloured. Um, but I do think it's a like a homemade label. But that could possibly be, you know, I don't know, it could have been, I don't know, but anyway, it's very pretty and it's got the same thing on the back as well. So I've got that as well. This old fellow sitting next to me, I think it's what I'm doing here, talking to myself. But anyway, now who remembers, no, we can't forget this brand, Fossies. I only got that for this brand because it had the label on it and it's got the, it's, it's vintage as well. I love the Fossies label dress and it's really cute. It's got a very cute sort of, um, older and probably 60s sort of vibe with this style but more of a 70s vibe with the fabric but yeah I got it for that reason it's just a little knee length dress will it fit me I don't know I don't know how a lot of you know yeah it could it might just or might be just a bit small but I think it's probably about a 10 we'll see so this is actually the first thing I got here I've got another dress from Missy this is a really lovely dressy dress one. This is called St. Frock. Again, it looks like a great brand, but it doesn't sell for a lot online. Um, but it's brand new, and it's just a lovely little dressy dress for her. So I've got that one for her as well. So she did well today. She got three dresses that she doesn't even know about. I'll have to look out for some... This is trouble is my grandson. He's into all that rappy sort of stuff, so I might send him up a brand new t-shirt or shirt, yeah, something anyway. But who remembers this lace stuff that was really popular back in the 80s? I do. And uh, this is actually a brand label one and it's yellow, as you can see, but it's got that, remember that the 80s brought back that sort of um, drop waist, 20s sort of vibe thing? That's what this is. It's a dropped waist uh, lace dress, sort of 20s, 80s does 20s, but it is actually labelled it's not a homemade one it's actually got a label on it millage by leon cutler um, a name i think i've seen his name but i don't recognize that label at all but it's fully lined so that was really cool that's what i found first and i got that for that reason and then as i turned around as you do because people i swear they put stuff in when you're not looking so if i went back in there now i'd probably find more stuff but i'm not going to i saw this really i love purple i love crazy patterns and I saw that and I thought oh, that looks interesting and it's a tree of life now we all know a tree of life it's definitely a great brand to to find and it's just a poncho something I won't wear but um, it was well worth getting for me now the last two items I got here will pay for everything I got probably today and yesterday and the day no, I didn't get anything yesterday but the day before I was at the checkouts waiting to go through and I was too busy so I'd had a little wander and as I walked past the jeans I saw this and we all know that symbol and if you don't know that symbol learn that symbol because we should know that symbol this is what you look out for these are ladies um, they're low waist I think or mid range um, but they're a made in Australia pair of that's all the label I have on it is that and I don't think one was sewn on the back. There's nothing, there's no signs of anything being sewn. That's why I, when I first saw just that I, and I looked for the um, the back tag, where is it? When I looked for the back tag, I saw that. When I looked for the back tag, there was none. I'm thinking, where is it? And I had to actually open the jeans to have a look to find out. So yeah, Made in Australia, R.M. Williams, and the Made in Australia ones are, are really good to find. But they're 12 right. Will they fit me? Maybe. I don't know. But I won't keep those. I'll move them on. Okay, and lastly were these because when I found those then I thought I'll go back to the men's section and just check to see what they've got here now Jada talks about these all the time yes he does um, driver flipper if you haven't seen him he's very entertaining but um I've got some nudie jeans when I saw the end I thought oh better have a look inside and sure enough they're nudie jeans tag they've worn a worn out tag but yeah they're nudie jeans there it is there's the proof you need. Um, I had a pair in my hand when I was at Evans, but they had a little bit of stitching coming undone on one of the pockets, so I left them. And I probably should have got them back then because I knew about them, but I think I was inundated with so many clothes, which I am again, which I'll do something about this week. With clothing, for me, it's I've really got to psych myself up to do it because it's a, it's a lot of work in it, you know. It's 
setting it all out. Now for me, I just do a, I've got a big whiteboard thingy that I put on the ground because I've got nowhere really to, nice, it looks anywhere to put it that looks nice when I'm hanging it. So a big whiteboard on the ground and depending what length, which way it goes, sort of longer than it is wider, that's where I put it and then I take photos front, back, you know, all that, so any, any, any damage, like any marks on it, do all that and then I, um, do this in a separate video then I am um, you know, it's a measuring that's what takes the time it's like <sighs> so but when I'm in the when I'm in the uh, the mode for it what is it the uh, rhythm <laughs> the word of, the right frame of mind and I'm doing it and you, you just you just constantly do it so you can go bang 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 a lot of them out and then I take the whole lot home and when I'm sitting watching something at night time I'll be measuring so yeah so these nudie jeans if you haven't found them before keep an eye out for them because they do go for really good money and I'll try and remember to pop something up here for you to have a look at now I've messed her beautiful folding up I'm going to take it all back to the shed and uh, sort it all out and uh, yeah and I'll edit this video so you can watch it today on Monday and thank you everyone who jumped on to my live and I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to do a competition every week for those who do and I'm hoping eventually maybe to do it two lives a week one specifically probably for vintage and maybe one to have a guest over to talk about reselling. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because at the moment I'm sort of all over the place just trying to find my feet in my lives. And next week I'll have a fully charged phone. So it won't be playing like it was yesterday. Oh. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you soon. Happy treasure hunting and uh, yeah. Bye.